Nicholas DeMarco. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. You have a red light violation on Smith and Chalkstone. What do you want to tell me about that? I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, I had a colonoscopy, a colonoscopy the next day, and they gave me that juice to drink, and psh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm here to tell the truth. Inspector Quinn, I think you should handle this one. And I, I, I can't judge because it would be an endorsement. <laughs> There's a reason why they came up with Cola God. <laughs> Inspector Quinn has been looking at you, right? And he looked at your explanation. He looked at you while you were given the explanation. Now, very few people know that Inspector Quinn was known far and wide as an expert poker player. He could tell when people were bluffing. So they used to call him All In Quinn, because that's the big thing in poker, right? When you think you, got, you can win the pot. All in, yeah. All in. Uh, but is he telling the truth? I'm, well, I'm all in, Inspector Quinn. I'm waiting for your decision. Judge, the worst part is he doesn't even want to look at me now. He doesn't want to lose any more money. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, yes, it appears the motorist is uh, truthful. All right. <clears throat> Mr. DeMarco, do you play poker? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever seen, you ever seen Bronx Tale? Yeah, yeah. Mush. <laughs> Mush. 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 Put him in the bathroom. Mush. Put a towel over his head. I don't want that Mush. face I can't. looking at I these used cards. To. Nah. Mush. Uh, in the movie The Bronx Tale, nah, a there was a guy named Mush. Right? He was a bad guy. He, he, couldn't, he couldn't win nothing. He couldn't win with a winning machine, right? right? All right. So <laughs> they all were at the racetrack, and they, they all, all of his friends, right, their horse was way ahead. And next thing they knew, Mush said he had the same yeah. horse. And before centipede, the race was over, I think it was they all ripped up their tickets. Centipede. I think that was the name of the horse. Centipede. I, I love that movie. What else happened in that movie? They put mush in the bathroom once. No, they, they put they? a coffee cake in the bathroom. <laughs> coffee cake. They put a towel in his head. <laughs> I don't want that face looking at yeah, these cards. Yeah, I don't want put that, that face bathroom. looking at that kid throwing the dice. Classic movie. <laughs> Classic. You're mush. Mush. I came, I used to. Bad. Yeah? Bad. One time I had a... Uh, Playing a pool way back, like 20 years ago. The Super Bowl, first quarter was like 5,000. All I needed was the extra point. The guy missed the extra point. Hey, you're more The extra point. Oh. And he didn't score the next quarter, so I would have won the first two quarters. Oh, nah. Did you ever win anything? Nah. Mush. Don't, don't do it no more. So she's part of the saying, he couldn't hit the floor if he fell. Nah, I can't. <laughs> I don't do it no more. You don't bet anymore? Nah. All right. Well, okay, Bush. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very endearing character, actually. Ah, uh, I'm just... You're a natural guy. You're a regular, you know? I'm just... I'm Italian. What do you expect, right? Yeah, there you go. You're not trying to be somebody you're not, right? No, no, I'm... Did you ever have our beats? I had it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breakfast is a pizza. Pepperoni. Do you call it Abitz? No, I call it Abitza. 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 See? All right, Mush, tell me. Your mother obviously must have been a good cook. Uh, well, my mom died when I was two, sir. So. Oh. Who cooks Sunday meal for you? Well, my. I got to make me cry now. Um, okay. When, I, when my mom passed, I went and lived with my mom's sister and her husband. So they raised me. My dad was in the service, so. Really, my mom, she passed a couple of years ago, so yeah, my grandma used to meatballs. I was gonna ask, what's the Sunday meal? What was the Sunday meal? Sunday meal was spaghetti, meatballs, sausage, uh, cooked onion in the, in the gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Was... Did, did she fry the meatballs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you ate the meatballs? I right? ate the meatballs when it was in the frying pan. Out of the frying pan? Yeah. 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 Good like that, right? That was awesome like that. Before they I, put, I sneak around with the Italian bread, dip it in. They call that azoop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You did azoop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> can, can I leave now, please? <laughs> <laughs> can I leave, please? <laughs> uh.
I, I'm getting, uh, just thinking of that Italian meal, of course, I'm thinking of my house, because it, it yeah, was the I mean, same every thing. Every Sunday, well, it was just like, yeah, we all, 8 o'clock, my grandma used to start cooking, like, yeah. four or five hours it took. I'm glad the meatballs were fried, because people bake meatballs. Yeah, yeah. you know, sometimes you just throw them in, too. You know, I mean, my, my ex used to throw them in the gravy. I'm like, nah, you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do the cooking. You did the cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you finally won, Moosh. Today you won. Hey. <laughs> Thank God. I can, I can leave. Okay, Moosh, good Thank luck. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovenance.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.